In this lesson, you will learn how to interface your Postbase mailing system to the Remote One Report One software. Before we begin, you want to go ahead and take a look at your Postbase and look at the touch screen and make sure that your Postbase is on the home screen. You can easily verify that the Postbase is on the home screen because on the bottom right of the screen you will have a menu option. Once you have verified that your Postbase is on the home screen, you want to go to your computer and you want to look for your Remote One Report One software icon. It says FP Postbase on it. So you want to go ahead and click on it. It will then attempt to make a connection. And once it successfully shakes hands, then your software looks like the home screen on your post space and your post space turns colors it, it post space uh, screen will turn blue and you will have a green start button that identifies that the post space is correctly connected to your remote one report one software now that you have successfully interfaced it if you ran into any problems trying to interface this is what you would see we're going to start over we're going to go ahead and exit the program and let's just say for example it was a a physical connection or a driver issue uh, where you didn't load the driver to the post space correctly to the PC or there's a physical issue with the USB connection if you attempt to interface with the software and you click on the software you actually just get a gray post space here with a connect and nothing just plain gray that means that either a physical connection is not connected as far as a USB or the driver is not loaded correctly now this is what it would look like if it was connected but you're, if you're not on the home screen, it won't interface. So my post base right now, I took it out of the home screen by pressing the menu button. So now it's in one of the menus. I'm connecting my post base back to the PC. And you would notice now that it attempts to make a connection, but it doesn't quite make it to the home screen. Instead, you will see a green arrow with a flashing connect. What this means is that the driver is loaded correctly. It does see a physical connection with the post space through the USB, but because the machine is not on the home screen is why you get this green button. Now, if I actually go back to my post space and, and uh, choose back to go back to the home screen on the post space, and then I hit connect, the screen on my post space will turn blue and now I'm able to interface correctly like we did earlier. I just wanted to give you, you know, different options here. How, let's recap a little bit, how it would look when you interface correctly, how it would look when it's not physically connected or there's not a driver um, installed correctly, which is basically the gray connect where it doesn't even give you an option to uh, connect. And what it would look if, if it was physically connected, the driver was loaded correctly, but my post space was not on the home screen, you would get a green arrow that will have a flashing connect on the software. Go ahead and give this a try. Thank you.